to be honest, this surgery is kicking my ass. I initially thought, no, this isn't so bad. And then the pain got worse and worse. So it's been a little over a week and a half. Thursday will be two weeks and I'm sore. You know that Abercrombie and Finch video I did? Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so notes for anyone going in for a hysterectomy. When they say rest, rest, but I'm so confused because my instructions actually said, walking is good for you, so I walked. It said, don't drive up to 24 hours after your surgery. I didn't, I couldn't anyway. Yesterday I was so sick. Now I have other health issues, so it could be that as well, but I called my doctor to say how sick I was and the receptionist said, well, Julie, you shouldn't even be driving. I'm like, it's been a week and a half. She kind of talked to me like I was stupid. And I'm like, but that's not what the instruction said. Why can't I not drive after a week and a half? I'm sitting, I'm not up lifting anything. I'm not up walking. Anyway, I was really sick when I was driving. I had to go get my daughter. I initially got on here and said it wasn't so bad. And, and it's not so bad. It could be worse, but I don't want to give the impression like it's an easy recovery. It is major and I have to remember that I can't do things or shouldn't do things or else I am going to set myself back and I have done that. I filmed that clothing video that was not smart. I painted. I was standing while I painted. Not so smart. So right now I just want to do something to make myself feel better. That's what I'm gonna do. I am not a person, and I'm sure most of you aren't, that has a good time sitting still. I'm watching my house get dirtier and dirtier. All the things that I normally look after, it's like the rest of my family can't see it. I'm gonna just try to make myself feel better with makeup because that's what makeup's good for. It doesn't take much to give myself a little bit of a boost. Besides the fact of having pain, of course the hot flashes are not fun either. I sometimes feel like if you have a broken leg that's visible, you know, something that really puts you out and really makes it hard for you to move is almost easier because it looks like I can do things. Even to me, it looks like I can do things and I think I can do things. And I will get up and attempt to do things and then I quickly end up back in bed. But you know, the nausea and stuff which I've been having could have a lot to do with my Lyme disease. Uh, that's been happening for a while, so it could be that. It could have nothing to do with my hysterectomy. Put the two together and it's honestly been a bit of a struggle. So my mood is dropping. I feel like, you know, I need to be grateful and that's always how I try to be. But I also sometimes feel like I'm allowed to be sad. So I know people have it worse than me. Where is my eyebrow pencil? Don't do this to me. I wasn't quite prepared for the um, emotional aspect of thinking about not having a uterus anymore. Like in my head, I can just say, ah, it's just that, Ugh, whatever, I don't need it anymore. But for some reason, uh, it's kind of brought me, I mean, I'm sure my emotions are going a little crazy because of the drop in hormones and I am taking hormone replacement therapy, but I said to my husband the other night, imagine them going in and taking your testicles out, which in turn takes all your testosterone away. Like that would be devastating for a man. Devastating. And here we are, going through life. And I think it's understandable. I'm gonna just give myself permission to kind of be weird about it. <laughs> like, is that is that odd? Let me know, Did has anyone gone through this and felt the same way? I almost feel silly saying it, but there's something about there's something about this that makes me almost sad for a second and then I can get myself out of it. I think when I'm having a day where I'm in bed because I don't feel good, it's easy to kind of go into that spiral of woe is me kind of thing. And I'm not a woe is me kind of person. Oh, that's a lot of blush. That's okay, I'm gonna feel bright. <laughs> ah. Let's blend that in.
this stuff stays too, so I better blend it in quick. Anyway, it's all what we go through as women, right? We're used to it and we suck it up and we just carry on. But sometimes, sometimes it gets to me. I gotta tone that down. Okay, well now I feel better. And thank you for being my therapist today. I actually feel better now that I've talked about it. Uh it's okay to feel sorry for yourself once in a while, but I'm going to kick myself in the ass and stop feeling sorry for myself. I'm going to heal. I'm going to get better. And that's it. Bye.